Crypto trading, crypto arbitrage, a lot of fancy word, but what is it and can we make money with it? Honestly, in a nutshell, it's a very simple concept. You go on one place, buy the crypto, go to another place, sell the crypto. That simple. So what are we looking for? Well, we're just moving around on the platforms. We are looking for price discrepancies and those price discrepancies can make us a profit. And the main point here is that crypto is decentralized. Everybody knows that. And nowadays we can surely tell that it is here to stay. It's stabilized. And of course, a lot more people are using it now than it was the case before. And of course, you know that the more traffic you have into certain field while well, the more money is there for taking right so this is the trick this arbitrage that a lot of for example amazon resellers are using but with crypto is much much easier because on amazon they call it drop shipping right they go to places like alibaba or aliexpress they buy things and then they just sell it on amazon right and of course all they're doing is that they're looking for prices they're looking how and where on which products they can make income so the same thing happens here all right but there are a few different crypto arbitrage sequences a few different options for you so you can of course take all of these one is maybe more complicated than the other two but i'm just going to show you the differences between these so the name of the game of the first one is cross exchange second one is called spatial and the third one is triangular first one cross exchange the most simplest one you go from one platform to another one and that is possible because as i've told you crypto is decentralized it is impossible to make bitcoin's price like same on all of these platforms just take a look at this now so on binance it is twenty five thousand one hundred and fifty one all right but when we switch over to let's say kraken you can see that it is twenty five 148 on qcoin it is 25 143 and if you visit more of these you will find more discrepancies so what happens in the first one you buy the crypto on one exchange and then you just move it over to another one and make a sale you don't lose money you just make sure that the price is good for you and you have to include one more thing in the equation actually it is two things it is fees and timing all right this is of course important and i don't have to like tell you why you have to watch out for fees you have to watch out which platform has what kind of fees and of course the timing is going to be necessary because you have to stay there you have to watch the prices and then you have to feel and see of course research wise when is the right time to buy the crypto on one platform and then head over to the next one the second option is spatial arbitrage and spatial as the name suggests it includes space so you head over to for example exchange platform in asia and you move the crypto over to america or europe whatever so this here this discrepancy is based on space you know because once more it is decentralized and it's never gonna be possible to make the exact same prices and that's why this is possible that's why a lot of people are making money with it now the last one is triangular and this is a bit complicated this actually involves like one crypto and you can do it on one exchange platform so what happens here is a so-called loop all right so it starts let's say with a bitcoin you have some bitcoin and then you buy that one and then you just exchange the bitcoin for cardano to ethereum then you head over to litecoin and then you just have to move all the way back to bitcoin right to the starting point of yours now this is really really complicated unless you are a really really like experienced if you are not a pro or something like that do not try this one do not try this one at home because you need a lot of experience for this one because you have to be aware of the platforms and you have to be aware of the crypto moving in terms of all of these little factors in that loop you know because if you just miss one thing in the end you might not get the profit it or even worse you can just lose the money so stay away from this one if you are a beginner all right so in a nutshell that's the same thing that you're gonna keep doing over and over again and you're just gonna look for discrepancies in prices but of course you don't have to do this like manually all the time you can of course but luckily there are bots for this one so all that you have to do right now is certain investment you know if you have a certain amount of crypto lying around this is a good 
opportunity for you. One of those bots is called RB Smart. You can just find this one online, just Google for RB Smart. And this is just set and forget, you know? You set it and it's all gonna be on autopilot for you. The second one is the crypto trading bot at Pionax.com. So Pionax.com, it is the same thing. It's a really good one. It's just set and forget. You said, what do you want? How much profit the bot should look for? And then there it is. Pinex maybe has the most amount of these bots. So I suggest taking a look at this one first. And the last one, it's good, you know, they've got like really, really good thing here going on. It's Crypto Hopper. Crypto Hopper is like maybe the most popular one. I don't know if it's better than Pinex, but I think those two go hand in hand. You can always use more, you know, so you can just use two of these or you can use three of these, depends on which one suits you the most. And as they say here, these exchange prices are inefficient, never gonna be like able to sink all of those so we can make money on it. Now, I know that not a lot of people, not everyone of course has some money lying around waiting for it to be thrown into crypto world. So that is why we have a certain thing which is called a flash loan. Flash loan is only available in the crypto space and it's a really important and interesting thing. Flash loan is a type of loan in the decentralized finance, DeFi, that allows users to borrow assets without having to provide collateral or a credit score, you know? So what happens here is that they will check your transaction. You will specify what do you want to do, you know? So for example, you tell them, I want to buy the Bitcoin here and I want to sell it here. And they will check the transaction. They will just check, check all of those blockchain transactions and they will give you the loan with a fee, of course. You will have to pay some form of interest. That's why they exist. But they will check the transaction and they will allow you the funds to you for you to make profit on. But you gotta be aware of this. This type of loan has to be paid back within the same blockchain transaction block. So you gotta make sure that your trade, your arbitrage is a good one, that it is a profitable one. And of course, you gotta think of yourself, what it's gonna be left to you after you just make the exchange and after you pay the interest back to these like flash loaners. One of these flash loaners is called avi.com and it's the most popular one. They've got a lot of money, of course, but what they are looking for is to make money as well. You can earn a lot of money. You can even just put your own crypto there to be loaned out. That's a good feature that they've got as well. So remember this one if you wanna go on the flash loan route because it's maybe the most trustable one. I wouldn't trust like a lot of these other ones that are emerging in the market right now because they're just not proven. But of course, it'll all depend on you, on the amount of research that you put into this. I suggest that you, if you are serious about this, that you go on a lot more deeper research than it is to just watch a YouTube video of this, you know? So it requires a lot of research and then after it, it requires a lot of work from your hand because you have to go on all of these platforms, whether you use laptop or mobile device, whatever, but you will have to do a lot of research and you will have to watch the prices. Sometimes you will have to get up at the middle of the night if you think the opportunity is there. So it depends on you, how much time and effort you are willing to invest in this and how much risk you are willing to take with this. So it comes with a lot of factors. Well, it's profitable, maybe the most profitable ways to get money online, but it involves a certain portion of risk. So just be aware of it, you know? I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do in the exact same moment, whatever. So it will all depend on you. So please get knowledgeable, all right? If you don't have any experience with this one, don't even try it, all right? Stay safe, I'll catch you.